graffiti. It's an urban emblem. And James Top is one of its self-professed kings. Definitely known in New York City as James Top. There's thousands of graffiti crews in New York City, but there's only one crew that took every last single train line in New York City, and, and that's Top. While it may be a controversial feat, James says it was his only outlet for artistic expression. I grew up in, in, in what you would call the project belt, whereas, you know, I would come outside and, and be on the streets, and as I looked 360 degrees, there'd be nothing but buildings around me. I never got a chance to see art or even know artists other than that of graffiti artists. Other people in other places get a chance to learn art in classrooms, whereas um, I had to learn mines on the streets of New York and also in the train yards and in the tunnels. That path led to his arrest 17 times. First of all, I'm very embarrassed by um, being arrested, period. Um, you know, I, I would not want my daughter to be arrested at all. But James views the handcuffs as a sacrifice for the genre and the crime as protecting him from worse evils. I could have been a drug addict, I could have been a drug dealer, I could have been a lot of other things, but thank God that I eventually made it into a gallery and, and, and working with great people. B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N. E? Yeah. T? No. No, what is this? A. 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 Yeah. Sneaker? Got it. Getting better. Getting better at my graffiti reading. Today, his work is not just on display in galleries, but exhibited legally on the streets of New York City. This is James's masterpiece. It's located in central Harlem. He started it in 1999. It includes photorealistic portraits of Malcolm X, James Brown, and Muhammad Ali. Just as these men left legacies, James hopes through community murals like this, graffiti art will be respected too. The art form is not bad, it's actually people who commit, um, you know, the, the acts of uh, vandalism. Let's convert this energy that the youth have, and now let's give them appropriate places to express themselves, especially in their, their communities. This is a true art form, it's an American art form. The birthplace is right here in New York City and it's spread all over the world.